After I bought my Gibson SG, of course I had to learn a bunch of ACDC riffs. And in the process, I discovered that Angus Young and his brother Malcolm, may he rest in peace, practically made a science out of creating electrifying and memorable guitar riffs. While most people tend to focus on the obvious, you know, Highway to Hell, You Shook Me All Night Long, and Back in Black, I decided I wanted to make a video about the riffs that we don't hear every day. And speaking of which, it's time to go grab your guitar because I'm going to show you 10 underrated ACDC guitar riffs that'll turn you into a bona fide riff master. I am Anthony Parker and this is the Near Life Experience. If I can get you to pick up your guitar, then that is a successful day's work on my end. So I dare you to watch this entire video and not be compelled to grab your axe and play along. Before I get started, I want to remind you that I need your support to keep this channel going. So head on over to the Near Life Experience shop and get, among other things, the Rock Heroes Guitar Instruction Book, this shirt, and a lot more. Not to mention you can pop on over to Patreon.com and join the Near Life Experience Patreon community. But let's get to the riffs, shall we? So as I was delving into ACDC's lesser known material, one of the riffs that really caught my eye was Have a Drink on Me from the Back in Black album. Now this song comes with a little bit of controversy since it was on their very first album without Bon Scott, who had died less than a year prior from alcohol poisoning. That being said, when they decided to carry on without Bon Scott, they still had to be ACDC and one of the topics they tended to sing about quite often was drinking. Let me show it to you. Now you might assume that you have to go back 20 or 30 years to find great ACDC riffs, but you'd be wrong. Because the next guitar riff, Demon Fire, came from the 2020 album Power Up. It's worth noting that this album was a tribute to the late Malcolm Young, who had died three years earlier in 2017. Here it is. <laughs> The next guitar riff comes from the epically cool intro for the song Riff Raff from the Power Age album. In the intro, Angus very cleverly uses intervals to create a D to G progression. The timing, however, is a little bit tricky. In fact, to get this part right, I had to sit there and count one, two, three, four, over and over again to figure out exactly when he's coming in and out. Anyway, here it is. <laughs> This next riff is one of my favorite discoveries as I went through this process of looking up old underrated ACDC riffs. This riff comes from a song called Can't Stand Still, which was from their Stiff Upper Lip album that came out in the year 2000. What I love about this riff is he plays this wild repeating motif over what's essentially a 12 bar blues form. Check it out.
The next guitar riff comes from the song Sink the Pink from ACDC's Fly on the Wall album back in 1985. What really jumped out at me about this riff, it's very clear that it directly inspired the song School of Rock from the movie School of Rock. Here it is. This next guitar riff is another one off of ACDC's Power Age album. The song is called Sin City. Upon first listening to this riff, you may think it's a fairly easy one to play, but when you factor in the timing, it's not so straightforward. What I have noticed with ACDC is they do this kind of thing a lot, where they'll play a riff that's just sort of straightforward, and then when the drums come in, they don't come in at an expected time. But the syncopation they create makes your hips shake and your head bob. Anyway, here's the riff. So it might be a bit of a stretch to say that this next ACDC riff is underrated. I mean, it is the title track from the album For Those About to Rock, We Salute You. But still, I don't really hear people playing it all that often, so I decided to include it. One of the things I love about this riff is that it takes two guitars to make it really sing. I'm going to put it all together for you. Check it out. Our next guitar riff, Shoot to Thrill, from the Back in Black album, is another one that requires both Angus and Malcolm to really make it fly. Here's how it goes. <laughs> That's the way I want to rock and roll is our second to last underrated ACDC riff. The song comes from the 1988 album Blow Up Your Video. It starts with an A major lick going up the A string, but then surprises you a little bit by hitting a C5 power chord. Here it is. <laughs> The next and final riff, If You Want Blood, You've Got It, is the definition of simple but effective. This riff was on their iconic Highway to Hell album, track number eight. And let me tell you, you could play this as a beginner. The timing and syncopation might challenge you a little bit, but it's three chords. Here it is. 